Hey guys, Paul Gaze here from Tactical Sonar with another, another Lorentz Tips and Tricks. Um, today what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you how to label your transducers to make sure you know where you're pulling from. Uh, most of the installs I'm doing right now, uh, you know, you've got an in-hole transducer, then you've either got a 2-in-1 active imaging or a 3-in-1 active imaging, uh, but you can do this with a 3D uh, or, well, not with a 3D, but you can actually do this with a total scan, um, <clears throat> these um, upgraded software packages. So, real quick and simple, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quick how easy it is to do it so it's not confusing and it shows you really, you know, where you're actually pulling from and with just a click of a button you can change your source. So let's take a look. All right, so to begin this, so we're going to hit our pages. So we're on sonar right now. So we're going to go to pages. We're going to hit our gear wheel. We're going to go to sonar. Then we're going to go, we're going to make sure that your channel one and your channel two is on. Your channel one is your blue port. Channel two is your black port, which is usually where the three and one is going to be plugged into. Uh, and make sure your network sonar mode is on multi-source. So, we're going to press installation. Right here, where it says on this unit CH1, you can actually name it. So, what I've done is on this one, I have nothing plugged in to channel 1. So, I'm not going to name that one. But if I actually touch that and go to this unit... If you actually touch your name, you can type in 3-in-1. You hit enter. Once you do that, already down here, it's automatically detected that the 3-in-1 is already there. So you hit save. And now in the very top of your window, now you can go 3-in-1. That's what it's named. So that's where I'm pulling from right now. So if you go to menu and look over here where it says source, I press that. Now I've got three in one or in hole. Now my in hole is connected to my other unit, my other 16 on the console. So while I'm running, of course, I'm going to run in hole. So let's choose over here. So as you can see, this one says in hole right here. So while I'm running down the lake, you know, I've got in hall selected and then my chart. And on this one, I've got a wide open chart so I can see the tributaries and everything else of the lake. So now this sort of gives you the option when you're running dual graphs on the console. You've got in hall here, three and one here when I sit down because it's up, it's not lower. Um, so then once I come up front, So we'll crank that top 12 up. But, so this bottom 12 live right here, the 3-in-1 active imaging that's on the trolling motor is actually plugged into it. So that's what I'm using for sonar. That's what I'm actually using for down imaging and side imaging. So, But I've got it plugged into this bottom unit here. So the 12 up top, we're actually just using the source. Now that's the Alabama C map coming up there. So, say if I just choose sonar, now you see what I've done here? I've named it three in one front. So you can see what I've got. So I've got right here, I've got three in one, that's the rear. I've got the end hole. That's the in hole, or I've got the three in one front. Now, these other two channels right here, you know, are channels basically that I don't have labeled. But since now that both of them are actually sitting here talking to each other, so this is how I normally run my setup I run chart, I run sonar, I run down imaging. On this one, I run side imaging. So there's my setup. That's how I'm running while I'm fishing. 
that's how I'm using the whole setup. So by just going in and labeling your transducers and making it easy to recognize, you know, what you're choosing from, it saves a lot of time and a lot of confusion between, you know, where you're pulling from. If you don't label them and you don't quite understand channel one and channel two, this is just an easy way to make sure you know where you're pulling from while you're running or while you're sitting down. Because a lot of people get confused if they have an in hole and they have a three in one, if they have the three in one selected and it's mounted upwards and not down near the skimmer, you're not going to read while you're on plane. So this is just a little tip, little tricks, like I said, just to make life easier on you. Uh, if you got any questions, if I can help anybody, um, tacticalsonar.com or tacticalsonar on Facebook, hit me up and let me know. Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great weekend.